Hey guys, welcome back to Just Be a Mom podcast. And today on episode 82, I'm gonna share with you guys how I lost 10 pounds. Um, but before I do that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, I talk about all things being a mom and just to, uh, here to have a safe space for moms um, that don't need all that unsolicited advice, all the drama, just a non-judgmental supportive place helping moms to trust themselves and hone in on their own motherly intuition. So if that is you, stay tuned um, and hit the bell for notifications because you're going to want to see more of my videos. Duh. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. So guys, I mean, not to brag, but I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> um, so my husband, <clears throat> so how this all started, I was not planning to lose 10 pounds. I was just like, I look good. I am beautiful. After having the baby, <clears throat> my first baby, I was just, I felt so sexy. This was the best I've ever felt in my life. I was just like, I don't need to lose weight. I look amazing. I feel amazing. My body is so strong and amazing. For what? Why do I need to <laughs> look at me? Um, so I was just like always in the mindset of like, I don't need to do anything, eat what I want. I still look good. Um, <clears throat> but I am a very healthy person. So um, I strive in like healthy situations, I guess. So like, um, just eating right, exercising. I love both of those things and they just really help with my mental health and like obviously my physical health. Um, but I wasn't doing any of that. I suffer severely from acid reflux and, um, PCOS and, I guess my PCOS is not severe. Um, I'll go into another thing about PCOS, but long story short, I went vegan and it basically cured my PCOS. So I haven't really had any PCOS symptoms um, since I went vegan, but I have obviously started eating um, slowly implementing things back into my diet. And this was when I was pregnant with my first baby. I started eating cheese again and eggs again and meat again and now I eat everything <clears throat> mostly just like fish and turkey but yeah so anyways but I suffer severely from acid reflux and my whole life I was trying to figure out like what do I do about this and like when I went vegan yes it also went away so praise be to God <laughs> um but um as I started eating uh, animal product again, like it did come back. So, <clears throat> what is, I need some water. <clears throat> I'm parched. Okay. <laughs> um, so I started eating animal again. And of course things like inflammation and things like that came back. So I was just like, I want to be the healthiest version of myself. I want to eat better. I want to do better. Right. But I don't feel like being vegan again. <laughs> So feel like it is hard being vegan, okay? Um, but my husband went on this really strict diet where I could only make him certain things, and like he was in the gym six days a week, still is. I'm not, but he is. <laughs> and so for like a few months, like he was like losing weight. I was like, sir. <laughs> Who are you getting cute for? Okay. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, I like, and then it kind of motivated me because I was just like, he can't just be out here looking all fine. And I'm looking, you know, still thought I looked good, but I, and I am not the best version of myself. So I said, self, you got to pull it together. You got to be the best version of yourself. For your kids, you got to be healthy. You you want to look your best, feel your best, um, be stronger. I got to lift kids all day, pick up strollers. Like I really need to 
get my stuff together I need more energy I really need to get my stuff together so um uh, if you didn't know I'm an instructor for fit for mom <laughs> I think I forgot to mention that in episode 80 um I am an instructor for fit for mom if um you want to do it it's awesome you get to take your kids to work it's only an hour it's fun you get a free workout it's amazing I would get certified, I'll put the link below, <laughs> and find your local Fit For Mom chapter and your local Fit For Mom group and see, you know, if they're hiring, if they need someone, let them know you're certified, blah, blah, blah. And the certification's like $200. It depends on what you are getting certified in. But I got certified in Body Boost. It's a HIIT workout literally one of the best workouts i've done um i love it because i can tailor it because i teach it i can tailor it to like exactly what i want and what i feel like i need so if i want to double up on abs that day i can if i really need to pump it out with cardio i can um so that's the great thing about being a fit for mom teacher <laughs> um also the community is great um gaining mom friends, my kids gaining friends. Um, it's a really great program. I love Fit for Mom, so I'm in Fit for Mom Santa Clarita. If you wanna take my class, I will definitely put a link below. <laughs> so, um, but Fit for Mom has a program called Body Well, and it's an eight week program where you um, do two tailored workouts a week, um, you have to log a meal log. We give you recipes, different things to make, different ideas. Um, you get on-demand workouts. It's awesome. Um, I'm actually teaching a session right now. <laughs> so it's awesome. It's totally worth it. So I started the session. I got to take it for free because I work for Fit for Mom. But um, what was I going to say? But yeah, so once I joined the session... I like really started taking like my diet and exercise seriously. I was like, okay, so I'm getting the two workouts a week and, and, and I'm a runner. So I run at least twice a week, usually, if not more. So now I'm working out four times a week, two runs, two hit workouts, and I'm logging in my, what I'm eating and I'm counting calories and making sure that I'm in a calorie deficit because that is how you lose weight. You have to be in a calorie deficit. How do you figure out what your calorie deficit is? Well, you take your current weight, you times it by 15 and minus, and then subtract 500. And then that is what your calories, that's how many calories you cannot go over that amount of calories. So I was 1700. And I just didn't go over 1,700 calories. Did I eat the healthiest? No, but I just, I made sure I didn't go over the 1,700. I literally ate candy almost every day. <laughs> I am not proud of that. But like when you're on a diet, you're like, I need something. Like salmon and potatoes is not enough. I need candy. <laughs> so, um... So I was able to lose 10 pounds while eating candy every day just by staying at 1,700 calories every single day. And even if I ate out, it would I would still add those calories in. One time I was at a restaurant and I was just like, gotta order something else, it's too many calories. <laughs> and like checking it in my app, like I was still able to eat, I think, and at a lot of restaurants have the calories on there and um, but on my fitness pal, you can just type in the restaurant and type in like what you ordered and it'll come up automatically. So um, definitely download my fitness pal, start figure out where your cal calorie deficit is because you could probably be eating more calories if you want to. Um, but I was, I just stayed at the 1700 cause that was my cap obviously. And um I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> it was great. So I worked out four times a week, two hit workouts. There's plenty of workouts on YouTube that you can do. Um, 
I just love running. Like, I know a lot of people say like, oh, you don't have to do cardio. I'll do cardio probably for the rest of my life. I will run probably for the rest of my life. It's probably just, I mean, if I can, hopefully, God willing. Um, I just love it mentally. I just zone out and it's literally heaven. <laughs> and there's these trails by my house that are just gorgeous, like the mountain view, beautiful. It's like where you want to run, okay? <laughs> so I've just always been a runner, but running does not yield the same results as you get older. Like when I used to run when I was 20, I would be like skinny and now I don't lose. I could run six miles and I've, I'm still fat. <laughs> like, so that's why a lot of people say like, you don't really need cardio. Um, I just love running, but um, you can do it. You can lose 10 pounds, especially if I can do it. Just remember, don't go over your calories. Try hard to not eat your kids' food. <laughs> also, what I started doing, I would take my kids, like, you know, like when they don't eat it, you just like pop the rest in your mouth. No, put in some Tupperware and just save it for later. They can eat it as a snack in the, the next day, you know? So don't eat those extra calories that you don't need. You're just, I found that I was just used to like putting things in my mouth and I had to just change that habit by like, after I get home from my workout, I wouldn't even stop at the kitchen because you're in the kitchen, you're like wanting to eat. You're like, where's a snack? No, I ran right upstairs, didn't eat anything, brushed my teeth early. When you brush your teeth early, that stops you from, coming down to have a snack and then like lock yourself in your room lock the pantries do what you have to do <laughs> but um it's it's little things like that changing your habits because it's all around eating like it's all around eating just make sure your plate oh and to keep it off because i have kept it off <laughs> i was eating five vegetable five cups of vegetables a day I really think that this did help me to keep the weight off is eating the five cups a day because it's making me replace a something that's another snack that I would have eaten, like a chips or something. Like now that I ate the vegetables, granted, even though I ate the vegetable, I still kind of want those chips. But knowing that I have to eat all these vegetables, like I have to eat five cups and it's not, if, and if you don't measure it, it's not five cups. You have to measure it. Your half of your plate should be greens, a quarter of your plates, carbohydrates, and another quarter should be protein, okay? Um, whatever your plate looks like, I mean, your plate should kind of look like that, okay? <laughs> if you really want to see a difference. Um, but like I said, it, you can eat egg rolls every day. Just as long as you're under 1,700 calories. <laughs> well, my number was 1,700. Some people's number is 2,000. You can have two. My, my husband eats 2,000 calories a day. Like, that's just his deficit. You know, everybody's number is different. Just as long as you stay under your within your deficit, you will lose the weight. It's not, it's a matter of time. And I lost it in eight weeks and I was so proud of myself. I also lost nine inches. Girl, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, don't forget, write me in the comments if you have any more questions about like exactly what I ate or like, am I still doing the program now? Oh, I guess I am because I'm teaching it, but you know, like if you have any questions, don't, you know, don't hesitate to write them in the comments and I'll get back to you and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course hit that bell for notifications because maybe I might come back with another workout video or some more workout tips or eating right tips. But let me know if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. See you next time.